Data is a 21st century commodity. It is the new oil. There is almost no limit to the economic and social wonders it can generate. New applications and new tools appear every day. And that is why the Commission has an ambitious open data strategy. To really make the most of this huge asset within our single market. Here are four things we are doing in particular. Number one, we have proposed new legislation to open up public sector information. So businesses and citizens can more easily access and use this great resource across the EU without complicated or costly conditions. For the first time, the scope also includes cultural institutions and the Commission will be practicing what it preaches by putting our own data on a single online portal with free and easy access. All this takes a big cultural change, but I'm confident that the countries of the EU can look ahead to the huge opportunity and support our proposal. After all, opening up public sector data could generate economic gains around 40 billion a year. And that's not something anyone can ignore right now. The second place you may be aware of exciting recent developments for cultural open data. Over recent years, the EU has promoted Europeana as the access point for Europe's libraries, museums, galleries and archives. It is a treasury trove of cultural heritage and a creative hub. So I'm delighted that just last week, Europeana announced it was putting the metadata for over 20 million exhibits into the public domain using the Creative Commons CC0 open license. This is a step change in open data access and an international first. Moving away from a closed and controlled approach to this kind of data to one based on large scale, free reuse, where you can link it up, for example, with tourism or broadcasting data and find ever more creative uses. In the open and fertile environment that Europeana has now created, I hope we will see many more apps blooming. Just imagine the new applications for libraries, schools or hotels, all powered by Europeana. So a big thank you to those cultural institutions that had the vision to take us there. On the third place, openness also benefits science. Helping scientists collaborate and progress and helping citizens, businesses and research funders benefit. We have proposed to make available under open access all publications that stem from EU funded research and to progressively open access to the data from scientific experiments and studies too. This is a great way to enable a new reality for science and I'm glad the EU is playing its part. In the fourth place, we will of course continue to support research related to open data, like the LOD2 project, using open source software to help people publish linked data. Likewise, over the next two years, we will invest 45 million euros on open access infrastructures for science and on digital preservation. I hope that projects like this will continue under Horizon 2020, the next generation of EU research and innovation funding. I know you at the OK Festival don't need convincing about the benefits of openness, nor about the huge innovation that it can fuel. Rest assured, the EU is behind you. Have a great festival.